Hello, friend, and welcome. I just wanted to give everybody an update in terms of what's happening in the stars. Um, there have been a lot of dates thrown out, and I think that the Lord has um, spoken through many of these uh, prophets, many of these prophecies, um, but obviously we're still here, and that's fine. Um, for me, God warned me about uh, summer solstice, which is, I believe it's the 21st, and I'm not saying that that's when Jesus is going to come back, but this is a significant date. We need to have all of our stores stocked up, uh, candles, food, gasoline, and also breathing attire, just any sort of high quality mask and get plenty of them because you may need to be handing them out. So that's another thing that I've got on my to-do list. Now, let's just jump into it. I'm just going to keep this short and informative. Uh, some of the dates that... Well, let me look at what's happening today, and then we'll we'll look at some of those dates in more detail. Lord, please bless the viewing of your stars and your handiwork. All right, so as always, we start with the sun. The sun is in the club of Orion. Mercury is coming through the horns. I wanted to say antlers. The horns of Taurus. Now briefly, if we were to look at yesterday, June 17th, we had some very significant happenings then. We had the sun and the moon right next to each other. We had a new moon. May There may have been an eclipse somewhere around the world, I don't know, but just as significant, if not more, we had messenger Mercury right next to Aldebaran. Aldebaran is also known as the eye of God. So this was very significant. This was a, a very significant message from messenger Mercury, also known as the black planet, the black horseman. Now, why is that important? Because Mercury at the end of this month, let me see. Let me see how this plays out. Let's just go ahead and start with Mercury. Because I want to be exact in my information. So Mercury, our messenger, black horseman, is going to go in conjunction with the sun at the end of this month. That is important for two reasons. Whenever Mercury goes into conjunction with the sun, the third seal, the black horseman, gets strengthened. So we really need to have our finances in a state that we're comfortable with because they could be completely wiped out of the banking system. So really, if it's in supplies that you're placing your money or if it's in uh, a safe in your home, however you want to do it, uh, pray about it and, and seek God's guidance because this could be a very significant moment. I don't think it's going to be the total crash. I don't think so. I think that God would give us warnings. He's been very merciful and very gracious. And when people complain about why is this taking so long, I think we really need to give thanks that God is staying some of those judgments. The other reason that this sign is significant is because we have Revelation 10 that is playing out in front of our eyes. And let me go ahead and go into the Geneva Bible. So Revelation 10, uh, we have used the King James Version extensively, but the Geneva Version is also an older, reliable version. Uh, so starting with verse 1, Lord, please bless the hearing of your word. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and the rainbow upon his head, and his face was as the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open. And he put his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth. And he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And we've talked about the seven thunders. What they say is actually in chapter 19, if you want to look at that. Uh, but we've got a lot of imagery here. We've got a, a mighty angel telling us that this is likely a planet going in conjunction with the sun over here. And we also have a little book. Uh, and later in the chapter, 
we see that John is given this book to eat. Let me see if I can find that. Verse 9, so I went unto the angel and said to him, give me the little book. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth as sweet as honey. So when we look at the sun and mercury in the belly here of Gemini, this is very reminiscent of eating that little book. And we've talked about that before. However, if we look over here at Venus, it's actually Venus and Mars that are in the area of Leo, Leo the lion, as the lion roareth. So that was surprising to me because um, I, I didn't think that that was how that played out. So Mercury is going, going to go and um, pass by uh, Leo soon. Let's go ahead and just take a look at that. I'm going to highlight Mercury again. And happy Father's Day to you men out there, whether you're fathers yet or not. So we've got Mercury and Venus right next to each other, still at the, the mouth of that lion. That's going to be later on next month, and we're going to talk about that. Uh, in fact, we kind of did talk about that <clears throat> in either the last video. I think it was the last video. Let's While we're here, let's go ahead and talk about we have the moon going into Virgo over here. People have been talking about true Pentecost. Um, and the Lord, I've mentioned that he's, you know, warned me about summer solstice, which I'm sure all sorts of pagan ceremonies are going to be taking place on that day. Uh, and there could, there could be some wrath. Um, I don't know. But the Lord took me to, I believe it was Second Chronicles with Hezekiah celebrating the second Passover a few weeks back. And when I saw it, I was like, God, I don't want to get involved in the calendar because I, you know, I've said place to date out there and it was stupid. And, you know, I, I see other people doing it now that are newer and, but I tucked it away in my heart and people have been talking about Pentecost. Well, Pentecost would be, if we consider the new year beginning in Aries, that would be, the, you know, this starting time of Passover. And that was in the beginning of May, May 6th. 50 days from May 6th is June 26th. That's our June 24th, next weekend. And I was really excited about that. Other people are excited about that. But when we look in the heavens, we have this sign here which is Venus escaping with Mercury right over the water hydra, the water snake symbolic of Revelation 12, the woman escaping uh, and that event paired with water from the, um, the red dragon. What's interesting here is we've got Mercury. I'll let, let me back that up. Well, it, we got Mercury escorting her, and then Venus turns back. Venus goes retrograde. And that's right next to Regulus here. It says that Regulus is actual, actually a quadruple star system. If we go on to Wikipedia, quadruple star system composed of four stars. And then the nomenclature, uh, the traditional name Regulus is Latin for prince or little king. So that's a little bit alarming, you know, for, for Venus to turn back. But this is the transition here. We're going from believers with this symbol here, this planet, to the left behind. This is where it happens. It happens next month. So for me to say the rapture is any time, before that, that makes me cautious. I can't say that. And again, this is going to be next month, which a lot of people are saying that's when true Pentecost is going to be. And if you consider 
uh, if our starting point is actually second Passover, then, you know, Pentecost from that point probably would be the end of July. So things to keep in prayer. Um, I know that I had a dream waking up this morning. Somebody was handing me an invitation. When I looked at it, though, in my dream, I just thought about Revelation 10 and I just ate it. <laughs> I just ate it. But I got a glimpse of it and it reminded me of the countdown sheet that I have worked with, you know, counting down a register. So I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe it was a more than one message. We'll say that. So that, those are a lot of the signs. We're going to back up a little bit. Well, we're going to take a look at Mars because I think this is so strange. Let me show you my notes because I've been trying to write out, you know, what I'm going to say before and here God allowed me to write, I don't know if you can see it, write down everything for all the star, all the planets, except for Venus. I kept having like, I couldn't write. So maybe it's not set in stone. We'll say that <clears throat> what's about to happen because people can repent and they can get on their knees and follow the Lord. So if we jump back to today, we're going to highlight Mars and Mars is very important. Uh, Mars is a very important component of the Revelation 12 story. Now we see Mars is just exiting heaven. It is currently in opposition with Saturn. Mars and Saturn, maybe uh, if we go back a few days, we'll see that even more so. So that opposition there, uh, was it middle of May? Yeah. So these two are in opposition on middle or so of May. If we... I'll just jump back a month. If we go back a year, they were actually in conjunction in April, along with, oh, look at Venus. Venus is in the mix here. Jupiter is in the head of the fish, Pisces, the sun, and Mercury. So we had a lot going on with these signs kind of all going into battle together. Here's where it starts. And then a year later, we had Mars starting in Gemini and then going into opposition and Cancer is where the two were in opposition. We looked at mid-May, so kind of floating between Gemini and uh, Cancer. Cancer being a representation of heaven or the sheepfold and the Maserath, and then Gemini, the rapture, two coming together. Uh, in fact, uh, within Cancer, there is this little mini constellation called the beehive cluster. I don't know if this might be a deep space object. <clears throat> so definitely a, a time of hardship and war right here with the red planet, the red horseman, second seal Mars, second seal representative. So we've got Mars and here comes Venus with that war in heaven. Following Mars, Michael, and then boom, she turns back. We also see that as Mercury is passing by as well. And the sorrowful moon, part of that scene. So these signs may not necessarily happen on that day, but it does seem that these signs are growing stronger and stronger as we have noticed with Mercury. So that is what 
I wanted to get out there. Uh, Saturn, the fourth horseman, he is still in the same position. Saturn doesn't move very fast. Trying to enter the water stream of Aquarius. Saturn represents death and Pluto represents Hades, following not very far behind. When this all started, uh, about the end of 2019, when uh, Sagittarius, the crown and the bow constellation, <clears throat> housed the sun and Jupiter, that could very well be the closest thing that we have for the start of the tribulation, I believe. Because if we, and a lot of people are saying, Antichrist is about to ascend. He is about to come onto the scene. Three and a half years ago, we saw what? We saw the introduction of this mysterious virus. And that is when we had the equipping of Sagittarius. If you have any questions about this, please go to my homepage on YouTube and click on the first video. Yes, we are in the tribulation. So, um, be encouraged. All of these things taking place do mean things. Um, some of the dates, let me do that before we finish. Uh, February 16th was one of the significant dates that people were looking at. And Saturn was actually in conjunction with the sun at that time. And that's when all those earthquakes happened in Turkey. So yeah, the fourth horseman was being equipped, or not equipped, but strengthened. He'd already been equipped. Well, not even equipped. He's right next to Hades, so death in Hades. So that's confirmed. He doesn't really get equipment. He just has power over all these sources of death. Uh, the other date, May 22nd. That was one that was recently put out there. Another very important date. Let's get the sun in here what was happening the sun was going right between that gateway Re revelation 116 between the sword of orion hanging off his belt and the seven sisters and then yesterday the date uh 6 17th the significant sign mercury next to aldebaran the sun in the club of orion so be respectful when people put dates out and, you know, just look and see what's happening in the stars because God can still use um, incomplete information, if you will, because I feel like I got my wedding invitation this morning right after, you know, that that date of May, uh, excuse me, June 17th. So I think that these things are significant. But what does the Bible say? Well, we have to the sun is going to turn to sackcloth and the moon blood red before the great and notable day of the Lord. Great. That's what I'm looking for. But do always, you know, keep in mind that other important things are going to be happening on other dates. And obviously, you always pray the full armor of God, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, sword of God's word, shield of faith, feet shod with the gospel of peace. Uh, if there's any signs that you've noticed that I've missed, please, please include those in the comments. Uh, but do enjoy, you know, the day that you're in now, occupy, but also move yourself into a position that might be uh, maybe a job that's less public facing. Uh, have your money in a place that you feel that God is leading you toward. Um, I have to close my bank account down because it keeps getting tapped into. And so that's, I guess, just God's way of showing me this is something that needs to end right now. Okay. So I found another place. So just if you have any questions or any prayer requests, please put those in the comments below. And God bless. Have a wonderful day.